You're watching Hayes' TV and we're out here at CBIT 2010 in Hanover. We've come over to the Cooler Master stand where we found this, which is the V6 GT. This is a six heat pipe cooler, hence the name V6. And with me is Sean Yu, who's the product manager. Uh, Sean, welcome to Hexus TV. Yeah. No. Okay, a uh, few questions to ask you about this. First off, V6 means six heat pipes. I can't mm -hmm. see inside there. Do you have like a sample you can show us which doesn't have all the shroud and everything on it? Mm -hmm. So we can actually have a bit more. Yeah, there you go. Have, let's have yeah, a look at this. Okay, it. so explain the features of this because these are arranged in a V shape. Why mm -hmm. is that? Uh, the reason is that uh, uh, for our V6 GT, we have uh, two fans on it as a standard equipment. Yeah. So uh, we found that uh, we want to increase the performance by uh, rearranging the heat pipe. So we, we, we designed it in a double V shape. The reason is that uh, the front of the every heat pipe will got a very clear exposure to the airflow. Yeah. So there's no uh, no any blocking of the air. Another is that uh, when using a computer simulation, we found that if the pressure is enough, then the, uh, there are some kind of extra uh, cooling by squeezing the air through these all these head, uh, all these gaps between the heat pipes. I get it, I get mm -hmm. it. Okay, so so if you just have the heat pipes in a straight line, it's only the front heat pipe that yes, gets the fresh cool air. So everything's staggered off, everyone gets fresh cool air, but also air flowing between them, you yeah. get high pressure there because yeah. of, I guess, some sort of like aerofoil effect or something like that. Yes, yeah, yeah, similar. Yeah. And uh, so uh, by arranging this, we have some extra cooling, but yeah. uh, there must be a stand on the basic that uh, we, you have enough pressure yeah. so the this cooler uh, we are designed optimizer for twin fan usage yeah. So, Although, so you've got to get lots yeah, of air yeah. through. Okay. So we can make sure the air pressure is enough. Right. Now something I just noticed looking at the top of it there is that these pipes here stick out a lot more so mm -hmm. why is why are the fins at an angle? Because they are angled that way. Why why are they not just straight across? Yeah. Uh, if you uh, look at the fan uh, normally the fan when, when it's running the air is not really blowing directly li linearly actually is a kind of a circulation right. so if you have a little bit angle to fit the uh, direction of the airflow oh, then the right. resistance it, yeah. through the hissing will be less yeah. of course it's not really a, a big difference but uh, there are some kind of help and also it looks different okay oh, yeah, yeah i understand so so basically a fan spinning like that which means that the air comes out as yeah, a bit of a vortex a, a, yes so yes. that's arranged to catch that rather than it just yeah, assuming yeah. it's going to be straight yeah yes. and, and, also, and also then because it looks like it's a bit wonky yeah, yeah. it's uh, sometimes unique okay now i, I, I was, I was talk, talking to one of your colleagues there he says that uh, these are the pre-production samples mm -hmm. but when they do come out you'll be able to push that button and change the color of the leds is that, yes, is that yes. correct uh, actually uh, not, uh this is kind of a uh, oe cap design yeah it's here to fit the the um, the feeling of engine yeah yeah the V6 yeah. Is actually you just give that a push or something yeah. like that and the change so that. the this is actually a push button you can control the light uh, of the LED strip uh -huh. here then uh, we have a uh, three different kind of color is a uh, blue red a purple and uh, you can switch off if you yeah. want uh, like uh, when you are sleeping uh, you want to keep uh -huh. the computer running uh, but we also put in the memory function. So okay. the color will stay the same as you turn off your computer. Gotcha. So there's no need to remove the side panel every time when you turn on your computer. Yeah, fair enough. Well, yeah, I wouldn't want to. So uh, when are these going to hit the market? Yeah, it should be around available in May or uh, June time in okay. Europe here. Uh, and any idea on price? Uh, price, uh, reference price is around uh, 60 euro. Okay, six, yeah. 60 euros. Yeah. That's, that's, not, that's not too bad. And uh, what are you looking, uh, obviously, on performance features? Um, on the actual performance even. Mm -hmm. um, how much better is this than stock? Uh, uh, pardon? How much better is this cooler than just a stock cooler? Okay, uh, I would say that it's a way out to difference, so it's not really easy to compare. Yeah. But compared to our previous product, actually this cooler will perform even better than our v very popular VA. Okay, so this is better than the V8? Yeah, a twin fan solution, of course. So yeah. you, have a, you have a very wide range PWN. The uh, uh, maximum fan speed is up to 2,200. Uh, 2, okay, all right. So, but we also set the lower limit at 600. So you can be very silent or very high performance. Right, okay, yeah. they, 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 there you go. So you can have silent or high performance, um, and they've got to make their own product obsolete now because it's better than the V8 so you want to get one of these and um, check it soon on HCTV when we're going to be looking at the Half X.